He was a wartime hero who overcame prejudice to become the first ever Sikh fighter pilot and was lucky to survive after being severely wounded in an aerial dogfight. Now a statue of the legendary Hardit Singh Malik is to be put up in the centre of Southampton to honour thousands of Sikhs and people from other ethnic minorities who fought and died in the two world wars. Steve Humphrey reports. Hardit Singh Malik was a Sikh pilot who took part in a series of dogfights with the Germans in the skies over the Western Front in the First World War. Now, over a century later, a statue of the war hero is going to be put up in the heart of Southampton. When you first saw the design, what did you think? It was exciting. Brilliant. His history behind it is absolutely phenomenal. And he was the first flying Sikh fighter pilot in the First World War. Are you looking forward to actually seeing the statue? Yeah, very, very. We and all Indian com Southampton community, all multi-faith, they're looking forward to see the statue. The Sikh community says it's surprising there isn't already a statue to the sacrifice of people from the Indian subcontinent in the two world wars. It's shocking, really, because we live in a, such a multicultural, diverse Southampton diverse multicultural Britain and something like this should have happened many many decades ago. Malik went to Oxford, played cricket for Sussex and did his flying training in Aldershot and Reading. He was lucky to survive the war, suffering bullet wounds and a crash landing. The job of expressing his character in a statue has gone to sculptor Luke Perry. You want something which is heroic without being cliché, but which is hopeful, which is beautiful, which is accurate and reflects the significance, not just to the Sikh community, but to what is the, the South Asian community and also the RAF, which at the time was the RFC. So there's a lot of things to get right. Members of the Sikh community who are leading the project have seen photographs of Malik, but until today, they'd never seen any film of their hero. Wow, absolutely fantastic. Lovely images and lovely video there. The newsreel cameras captured these fleeting images in 1918. After the war, Malik became a diplomat. He died in 1985, aged 90. The Sikh community have got a meeting with the city council on March the 15th to discuss the plan. They're hoping to have the statue in place by the spring of 2023. Steve Humphrey, BBC South Today, Southampton. Wow, what a story. The man who went hunting for the Red Baron. Fantastic life as well, yeah. Mm. And a cricketer. Brilliant, fantastic. Indeed, he's, he had it all, didn't Incredible. he? Incredible. Uh, now, it's been very mild on the weather front of late, hasn't it? Thank you ever so much for sending in uh, your weather pictures. Got some.